Hello, what is up? Today we're going to try something a little bit different. It is uh, Choose Your Destiny. Uh, three piles of cards. You are going to choose one. Got an amethyst on the modern witch tarot. We got this um, tektite gemstone. Tektite, no, it's not a gemstone, it's, it's a piece of a meteorite from another planet. Um, rested atop this OG classic Rider Waite deck from college. <laughs> um, and then we have um, a personal favorite, my Northern Animal Tarot deck with this beautiful Labradorite heart from Grandma. Right, I've never done this before, but I've seen this done a, a lot on YouTube. I think that people really enjoy uh, doing a choose your own destiny, choose your own adventure tarot reading. In addition to a short spread, I'll also be pulling a Moonology card to see the flavor of what is happening for each of these groups. So choose your group, group A, B, or C, and do it now. All right, welcome group A. You have selected the Labrador Labor Labradorite Labradorite Heart Stone, the Stone of Transformation. Wonderful. What's going on with you, Group A? Show me anything Group A needs to know today or in the moment, whenever you're watching this. I know that I post dates on all my videos even though YouTube tells you when it's uploaded. I don't know why, but um, we often, not often, we are in a continuous state of living time in a linear fashion, but just know that the messages in the readings don't need to come to you on the day of. So with that in mind, feel free to go back and watch any of my videos if any of the titles speak to you, Group A. Group A. Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay. What does that mean to you? Spiritual your spirituality and practicality. It means two things, because balance goes both ways, right? Have you been too much in a logical, linear fashion and not so much listening to your intuition and vice versa? Are you so, are you, are you in such a state of, let's say, manifesting that you've, <laughs> you've taken a, a bit of a hands-off approach and are leaving everything up to chance? without showing the universe in some meaningful way um, that that which it is that you desire. So balance spirituality and practicality. This could also just mean, oh, and this is full moon Pisces. Mm, this, this does feel like a um, continuation of yesterday's reading a bit, so, and it's interesting that I wanted to say that to group A and not at the intro of uh, go back and watch some videos. So, Full moon Pisces. Full moon things culminate, come to a point, and Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So this is like a last ditch sort of attempt at um, completing something or, or acquiring something. Some aim here wants to be integrated. Something wants to be integrated into your life. And so how do you do that? You balance spirituality and practicality. So you must believe that it is a part of your life and and practice in some practice practice in some practical way that it is a part of your life. What are, okay. Take it however it sits. Alright. Ace of Wands underneath, inspiration. Oh boy, I keep flipping these decks upside down. King of Wands, that's you. Queen of Pentacles, oh I see, I messed up the... Uh, 
the cards. Okay, so King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, You might have to do something you've never done before. Yep. Interesting. This might be in regards to a love situation. I see you also sort of um, being a little bit afraid of something. Um, it's like you don't you don't really have all the information, or you feel like that there's no good choice. There's no. Your mind is getting in the way of your heart a little bit. That's what I see. Because what's what's really on your mind is sort of your subconscious here is thinking about partnership, and you. Uh, want to behave as though you're open, your heart is open in some ways, but um, I don't know that it really is. The intention here is for something to grow, for sure. There's a ton of inspiration. The Ace of Wands here is like your willpower, your desire, but then the mind does sort of play tricks here. And so, again, we have the wise old tree, and you know when the wise old tree comes out what that means. It's com It's come out the last few readings if you want to Group A, if you want to go watch um, yesterday's and maybe the day before's um, video, because the wise old tree is in there, and that's it, the tree is at the crux of a lot of um, activity going on right now, which makes sense, just sort of with the timing of everything. You're showing up as the king of wands. And you're, you know, you're you're willing to take action here on something, but there there's there's maybe some sort of subconscious fear or feeling like even if you take action, nothing will come of it, or you're not you won't get your desired result. Then the Page of Wands outcome totally balanced spirituality and practicality. Page of Wands sees the potential in his wand. Page is, is fresh energy, brand new. We got two pages on the table. He, effectively, he's holding this Ace of Wands, you know, a symbol of inspiration, willpower, determination, adventure. And he holds it, but he's, he, he's maybe not sure yet how to move on all of his ideas that he has around this wand, you know, whatever the wand is. You're showing up as the king of wands when really you're the page of wands. Okay? Or vice versa. I feel like the thing between you being the page of wands and the king of wands, maybe you oscillate back and forth a bit. You know, the king obviously being uh, much more in his power and able to manifest things. First of all, go back and watch yesterday's reading because it'll tell you that this week is not necessarily the best time to take um, um, really direct action towards what you want, but simply to allow. Um, that is also uh, validated here by this pre-empress card, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. This is about... <laughs> It is sort of like the luxury card, and it's and you know we also see it here near the Queen of Pentacles, um, the Creature Comfort card. So this week it's really just best to do, do whatever makes you feel good um, that gets you through the week. Um, maybe this week it's about um, getting into your physical body so that you can dispel any irrational fears um, coming from the mind, because that's what I see here is 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 um, the Eight of Swords as like the environment and the um, hopes and fears is the two of swords. The fear is that no matter what you do, you won't, that you won't make the right choice or something. That you're unable to make the right choice. Um, and at best, maybe you feel stuck. So don't worry about um, not knowing what to do right now because you're supposed to just focus on yourself. 
um, even though subconsciously we're thinking we are thinking about partnership here group a um, you have to come as your whole self in anything that you do and it's January and it's snowing outside so what are you gonna do anyway okay just uh, take care group a thank you okay group B welcome to your reading what does group B need to know for today or in general what can, what is group B wanting to know who is group B <laughs> Group B, you've chosen the uh, the very mysterious uh, tektite stone and the old school college tarot deck, so you know it's been around. It's got the ancient wisdom of the universe imbued in it. Group B. Like Group B is a bunch of weirdos. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, I mean nothing but love, okay? But <laughs> group B. What does group B need to know? Have faith in your dreams, group B. Waxing crescent moon. Waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. Someone here really needs to believe. Believe in something. Uh, the tektite stone is a stone of synchronicity as well, so uh, maybe there's a sign. Maybe there's a sign you've been ignoring that is, that is out there um, showing up in your life in, 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 with the purpose of, of bringing you some sort of faith, okay? And maybe, um, maybe this is a sign here to uh, pay attention closer to the signs, the synchronicities. This is about knowing you're on the right path. And knowing that whatever you desire is possible, if you believe it enough. That sounds like some, you know, childhood, fifth grade, future thought. Anything is possible. But it is, isn't it? Uh, there was a quote recently that I, I was like, oh damn, was, uh, whether you believe you can or you can't, you are correct. Whether you believe you can or can't, you are correct. Yeah. Okay, group B. What's happening? Four of Pentacles underneath. Yeah. A little bit constricted. Um, not really. Will this is the energy of either protecting your energy something maybe hasn't turned out the way that you had wanted to and so now you're in a place of I don't want to go any further back I've gone as far back as I can um, and you want to move forward here but there's you're you're all full up you're all full up he's got a pentacle on every arm so there's no room here for anything else the king of swords queen of pentacles again the queen of pentacles similar to group A but no spoilers Right, no spoilers. You've chosen group B. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, so again, this is about creature comforts. You are... Hmm. Let's keep going before I say anything else. Empress. No way. <laughs> group B. Group B! Sounds like I'm saying group B. Are you a fan? Are you a fan, Group B? Are you a fan of this channel? Tell me now. So this deck ha does have reversals in it. And and um, just for the sake of what I'm doing today, I'm not going to read into the reversals too much. I just want to point out that one, two, three, four... Four cards showed up again from the last reading. We're on to something here, folks. Group B, what is it that you're really dealing with this week? Or whenever you're watching this? What are, you know, um... Is 
Interesting. I feel like in the past, whatever the situa situation is, it might be regarding work and life. Um, like the 3D experience. So this might either a work situation, you're really trying to um, approach some, some work situation from a place of logic. Um, you do want, because you're interested and invested in your own personal growth and you think that stabi stability for you means having some sort of good balance of work in your life. Okay, and maybe this is a challenge for you because you've been um, a lot of, you know, maybe just like too much in the creature comforts, too much in the, um, I'm enjoying my life, so why do I need to, um, be a, not, not a hard, be a hard worker, but like, why do I need to always be hustling, okay? Group B is not necessarily a hustler over here, like, non-stop, which is fine. Um... I think that Group B, you're way more interested in the things that deeply move you. I think you're way more interested in forming good relationships and good partnerships, and it's not so much about the money. However, <laughs> you're you're probably realizing that you need to have some sort of financial plan, okay? And for you, your dream is probably integrating those two things by saying, how can I make money? Um, in this world, in this society, doing the things that I really truly love and enjoy. Don't we all? You know? So... This might be something that you're actively working on, like, right now. You feel like that this is sort of, I don't want to say a crisis, but this is something that's probably happening t for you in the moment. Um, and again, we got double page energy showing up here. What you expect to find in your search, let's say if you're job searching right now, may not be what it is that, what, what you're expecting to find may not be what you're finding. But there, there is an outcome here of sort of, um, the, the six of pentacles, um, equal reciprocity. This is about getting what you want. It's almost like the universe will give you exactly what you what you need and what you want. So if you're over here saying, I only need this much. I only need this much to live. I really don't care for having a shit ton of money. I just want to have enough to get by. That's exactly what you're going to get. Now what I meant about the expectation of, of you know... Um, This is maybe what it's saying, have faith in your dreams. You're thinking too small here about what's possible for you, Group B. Um, because while the universe will provide for you, and I don't think that there's any reason to worry that you won't be able to find work this year. None at all. To me, this is a money year. There's abundance sort of around every corner. And that's evident by this Four of Cups, again, underneath, this energy underneath. There's almost so much, you know, if you try to grasp at all of it, you will sort of just inundate yourself with this, like, capitalistic desire to just have all the money. I don't think that's who you are. I think that you're an extremely generous person. I see that here as in terms of um, with your time and your energy. Um, and now the question is, how do you build some sort of stability for yourself? You're realizing that you have maybe given a lot away or are giving a lot to others, and now you need to do something for yourself, and it's directly regarding a, a money situation or some sort of financial stability so that you can grow and prosper. What else can I say, Group B? Pay attention to the signs, right? you, you got the tectite stone here, so pay attention to what... Um, Anything that seems too good to be true is not. That is, I think for you, that is a synchronicity. And you need to take it and accept it and say thank you. This is a gift. 
I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it. Okay, because what we have here is the have faith in your dreams. When something shows up for you that feels good, that looks good, it is good. And treat it as such. Don't be skeptical. <clears throat> Don't use your mind to swirl around all the different possibilities of what could go wrong. I think this is the period of time to really work on your positivity. Um, work on keeping yourself balanced. And this temporary period of, of stagnation or lack of growth, or rather, it's not even a lack of growth, it's just sort of like, before, when figuring out which direction to grow in, like what's happening next, we do sort of temporarily just sort of like, you know, stop hiking and, and we look around to see where, which trail, what the trail ahead, where the, where the next trail is that we want to take. Anyway, yeah, ending group B on a little bit of a hiking metaphor there, so I hope you like that. Uh, thanks, group B. I hope that helps. Got money on the mind, group B. But not just money, it's stability, it's, it is, there is love, there's partnership here, or something, maybe a business partner for you, group B. Hey, group C, welcome. This is your reading. You have chosen the beautiful amethyst stone regarded as a wonderful healing stone um, also great for intuiting apparently um, prevents drunkenness I remember that because I was helping grandma sell some of her jewelry online on Etsy actually I'll link it below she's amazing and she had this gemstone book and was <clears throat> reading about the qualities of the amethyst and something about drunkenness alleviates drunkenness prevents drunkenness I don't know it's an alcohol thing with you group C is that why we're talking about this right now what does group C need to know <sighs> the answers you need are coming full moon Gemini so, Gemini is a bit of a chatty Kathy. I also like the blue color in this and the blue color of the deck. Yeah, Gemini, uh, Gemini. Group C. If you have been waiting for some sort of communication, there might be something coming to a head here. Um, this might be about having an important conversation. Uh, the full moon is always a sign to stay calm in whatever information is coming your way. This might be a moment of clarity, of new information um, entering your life that might change how you think or feel about a situation or confirm, honestly. It may, it may confirm how you've been feeling about a situation. Group C. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I find it very difficult to shuffle when I'm out of practice with it. <laughs> so it's a bit awkward. Uh, but this deck is definitely, for me, about the heart center, our emotions. How are we really feeling about something? This tarot deck is your best friend. It's going to say, girl, who did what to you? They did what? Let me just, let me go smack a bitch. Just kidding. but. I think you know what I'm trying to say. The voice of the deck. My goodness. A good shuffle. Thank you. Eight of Wands underneath. Okay, the answers you need are coming. It's happening very quickly. This is downloading messages. The star. King of Swords. Oh, interesting. Group C. Three of Wands. Three of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Oh, hell yeah. Eight of Swords. Five of Wands. Knight of Cups. 
Four of Swords. Group C. What's going on with you? The answers you need are coming. We have the Eight of Wands. Messages. King of Swords. Downloads. Truth. Clarity. You are in a state of healing something. Um, nurturing something within yourself. Um, you want to express yourself um, authentically moving forward. Um, and there's many lots of different ways to do that, right? Or this, this new truth about yourself is giving you um, a great sense of confidence and then the moment something shows up as like, what about this? You sort of close yourself off. You are perhaps really only feeling stable right now when you are in your own um, bubble of healing. You know you can you know yourself well enough, you know you can control this, and as soon as you sort of look out over the horizon uh, into uh, what can I do next, what should I attempt to try, that's when things get really uncertain um, and things get a little bit scary for you. It seems like it's, it's a little bit too much. So, you know, what I want to say to Group C is uh, feel your way into the future. We have the Knight of Cups, very slow energy. It's not that the Knight isn't moving at all. He's just the slowest of all the Knights. And truth leads his heart. And that's important to them. Okay, this is the Knight of Cups. It's important to them that whatever endeavor you're seeking feels true and authentic and connected to your heart. And the outcome here is the Four of Swords. That is about rest and meditation. So I just say to you this, you know, um, there's definitely a wave here that I'm sensing of, I feel really good, this is awesome, let me take care of this, this, and that. And then, you know, something unknown comes along your path and you're like, ah, oh, what do I do with this? Or it's, and it's not even sort of like, um, a chaotic energy but just sort of like a closed off sort of yeah I'm not sure um, and that's when you retreat into something again that more feels good the three of cups um, you're you're maybe always going back to this your you know your chosen family here the three of cups people who celebrate you who understand you who um, you don't really have to explain yourself to. But if the desire here is to grow beyond your means, right, the answers you, you need are coming to a particular situation, Group C, um, it is going to take some time for you to figure out how to say the things that you mean to get what you want. I just... You know, because in, in one one placement you're showing up as the star, the card of hope. It's it's uh, healing, uh, progress, very Aquarian energy, very now, <laughs> very now. And then in this other position, you're showing up as the Eight of Swords. You're not you're not in your power when you're keeping your um, findings, these answers within you to yourself. You're sort of keeping your, you're holding yourself back when you don't allow your truth to commingle with that of others. That's for somebody. And so in, in the past you might have had this amazing great feeling of these people, they get it, they get me I feel good here, but it, it, it maybe just wasn't enough. So I don't know what changed. Uh, maybe you feel that you've been, you're, you're being pulled in another direction. And I think you sort of like it. The Seven of Cups is very dreamy energy, but it's also like there's danger in the choices. 
so yeah growth is uncomfortable and there's probably some things you got to figure out for yourself before you can enter into a new sphere a new space very interesting group C the answers you need are coming um, so my advice for group C is just to take it easy and let things take allow things to unfold in a very natural way um, and um, pay attention to the messages you might be getting um, if there's people trying to get a hold of you you know um, if there's um, kind of what I'm seeing right now is like turn over every stone turn over every stone you know like what's under there you can sort of start piecing together um, a lot of things for yourself okay I think that's it so um, thanks for watching A, B, and C choose your destiny <laughs> reading um, I hope you liked it and I'll catch you on the next video